first thing we're going to do is start with a box of yellow cake mix. So just yellow cake mix. You don't want to use the white, you want to use the yellow. But don't follow the cake box directions. You want to follow my recipe. There's the scissors. Thank you, Ann. Okay. So yellow cake mix. We're going to use four eggs. And it's a really nice moist cake. So we're using just oil, vegetable or canola oil. I'm going to get that going first. And now I'm going to add canned mandarin oranges with the juice. Now, normally you get a little bit smaller uh, can, so we're just going to use about half, or about 11, 11 ounce cans uh, normally. This is a 15 ounce can, so we use about three quarters of it. We want to use some of the juice. And if you're using the 11 ounce can, you'll use the entire can with the juice. And then some of the oranges. And I'm going to first get the juice going. And then I'll add in the oranges. This is going to give it a light orange flavor. And we're using the juice from the mandarin orange can instead of water. And then we're going to put some of those mandarin oranges in here too. And that's what I think makes this cake so nice and springy. One of my favorites. At this point, I don't want to beat that up too much because I don't want to break up the oranges. Okie dokie. And Anna, I'm going to use that mixer again. So if you could give those beaters a wash, that'd be great. Okay. Now I've got my cooking spray. So I do this in a 9 by 13 pan. going to be a nice cake, perfect for book club, perfect for showers. You want to bring a cake into the office. This is a good one. The one thing about this cake, it really should be refrigerated because of the frosting. And we'll show you how to do that frosting in just a minute. So now this goes into your oven. It bakes for, uh, you know, Basically, you do the old toothpick test. Every oven is different. 350, it's going to take about 30 to 40 minutes. Uh, glass pans tend to bake a little bit more quickly. Now, it's really important at this point to let this cake uh, cool completely because the frosting that we're going to put on this is a really light whipped frosting. And you want to put this on a cake that's completely cooled. If you don't, um, it's going to run all over the place and not be so good. So we've got one big box of instant vanilla pudding. Instant is key. I've got one container, 16 ounce container of whipped topping, frozen whipped topping that we've let thaw.
And we bought one can, one large can, one of the big guys. I want to show you the can size of the crushed pineapple with the juice that's going to go all in here. And this is going to look like a boatload of frosting, and it is, and that's what makes it so wonderful. This cake is not just about the cake, it's about the frosting, too. You could use a mixer, but you know what? I'm just going to do it by hand, just to kind of fold it all together. And this frosting is just dreamy, it really is. Hey, I hope you'll come see me. I'm actually in Manitowoc a Saturday. There's a big home expo, home garden show going on there. And I'm going to be doing a, a cooking demo at 1 o'clock, cooking up some fun new spring recipes from my new cookbook. So come on out and say hi. I love seeing you. I love meeting you and hearing about your great recipes. So spread the word. So that's this Saturday, 1 o'clock. Should be a lot of fun. OK. So here's our frosting that I told you makes a lot. So it's not, this cake is not just about the, the cake. It really is about the frosting, too. So here's our cake that's completely cool. And then you just take this frosting, mountains of it, and just spread it on over the cake. This frosting is so good you could eat it by the spoonful right out of the bowl, but I'll spare you that but I have been known to have a spoonful or two of it. Abby, are you drooling back there? Abby's grandmother makes, a, is it your grandmother or your aunt? Your grandma makes a cake like this. So we're all excited about this. Gonna get a little better tool for the job here. And taste this frosting. Tell me what you think. It's delicious. Come on. It's so yummy. It really is. And it spreads so nicely. All right. I'm gonna show you what it looks like when we cut a piece because. That is the, the fun part of it, because you're going to see mounds and mounds of frosting. Let me get a plate. So at this point, you want to keep it in the refrigerator, though, until you're all ready to serve it. So cover it loosely with plastic wrap. And on a cold winter day, to, like today, if you, you know, because it's got the oranges and the pineapple in there, it's a little bit tropical, and it just makes everything all better. And it is yummy, yummy, yummy. Check out, no shortage of frosting there, huh? Hoo hoo. It's my creamy orange pineapple cake. Recipes on the website. You can also pick it up at any area festival foods. Enjoy. It's a winner.